you keep in count, the fall season officially starts in 62 days. Weather, or excuse me, winter starts in 152 days. Meteorologist Alex O'Brien live tonight to remind us, you know, it's just never too early to start thinking about the snow outlook. Alex, thank you. <laughs> Rob, this winter we could see La Nina forming in our country or in the Pacific Ocean. So NOAA scientists have issued a 50 to 55 percent chance of La Nina forming. Right now we're in neutral conditions after a couple of years under El Nino. But in a La Nina pattern, here's what happens. We have some pretty strong easterly trade winds coming off of the tropical Pacific. These trade winds increase in La Nina and create more cold water upwelling with colder ocean temperatures off of the west coast of South America. This creates a high pressure blocking pattern off the west coast of the U.S., keeping the northern jet stream further north. That leaves the Canada and northern states a little cooler that winter and warmer towards the southeast. Drier conditions prevail in the southern U.S. with this pattern with some wetter conditions in the Pacific Northwest and Midwest. So Colorado is a bit tricky, but typically under La Nina, we can see dry conditions here in southern Colorado, a little wetter towards the north. And unfortunately, that could allow our drought conditions to persist longer than we certainly want them to. But La Nina has not formed. We're still in neutral conditions. So now we're looking at these short term monsoonal pattern changes that give us a better chance of moisture and relieving our drought sooner rather than later. So the next six to 10 days does look like a better chance of seeing rainfall. Hopefully, this monsoon season will help in case La Nina does form. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.